What's up everybody? Welcome back to Pens and Tea. My name is Carrie. Today it's late. There's all kinds of background noise, uh, but I don't care because I just got a package from Goulet Pens and I am far too excited to wait until better filming conditions. Yes, Parker, I know. Uh, I want to open it now and I like to film them so that you can all enjoy it as well. Um, so most of what I bought or some of it of what I bought, I actually already have. Um, they're just staples that I like to keep. But let's get it started. Um, I've opened the box physically, but we're going to take everything out together. The very first thing that you get on the top of the box is uh, the packed order. So you get to see who packed it, their signature, um, and that they pack it with a ridiculous amount of care, which they always do. Um, and then you get a sticker, which is the first time actually I've seen a sticker that looks like this. Um, it's a little ink splotch here and Parker's tail apparently, um, which is kind of cool. The only thing I wish they said is that on a note or something, they told me what ink this was modeled after. Um, but I like that a lot. Oops. Uh, and I keep all of them. Um, okay, let's just start from the, the bottom up uh, in a Ziploc bag. There is, oh, that's so cute, a little pen pouch. So this is a two pen pen pouch from Rickshaw Pens. Um, something I use almost daily is this, which is a two pen pen pouch um, from Rickshaw Pens as well. Um, so this is their latest one with dogs and cats on them for rescue. Um, let me know in the comment section down below if you'd want me to do a review on this in particular. Um, but I felt like I had to because, I mean, clearly Parker is an obsession of mine. Um, and it's just too cute. So I had to get it. Um, another thing I got is a little booger sucker. You want to smell? Oh. She's excited too about this package, guys. Yeah, do you like booger suckers? No, you just like the camera. <laughs> um, this makes life so much easier. If you've watched any of my pen cleaning videos, uh, you'll know that I use these frequently. Um, and every once in a while, I just like to get a new one um, just to keep it, you know, fresh. <laughs> okay, Parker, <laughs> calm down. Oh, she's jumping everywhere. Um, something else that I got that is a repeat purchase is their little syringes. Um, this packaging doesn't really show you what it is, so I'll rip it open. Uh, it's literally just an ink syringe um, that I use this for everything. Uh, refilling pens, cleaning pens mostly, um, but these are just the handiest things to have. It's just basically a blunt tipped syringe. You get two of them and they are the best. These two things are the best things you can ever buy getting into this fountain pen hobby. What else did I get? Uh, oh, I purchased this because I lost it. And again, with cleaning, it is the best tool as well for getting um, feeds and nibs out uh, of pens. This is literally just a rubber grip. You could use anything, um, but I just bought it from them. It's like $2. Um, I had one for six years and then mysteriously lost it a couple weeks ago. So I picked up another one. It just comes in this little pouch. So those are like mainly cleaning uh, and maintenance supplies. Of course you get their lollipop. Uh, I'm pretty pleased because the lemon's my favorite. Uh, then I picked up this Tomoe River notebook here. Um, which I will be honest, I thought was a lot bigger. Um, so that was a surprise, <laughs> but we'll see. And I will uh, test it out. And of course I'll do a review for you all. Um, it's the A5 Doc Grid, 160 pages, but I thought it was gonna be like an actual notebook notebook. So it's a little smaller than I thought it was gonna be, but that's also on my bad because I didn't really pay attention. Okay. Uh, another thing I got was a pen and I got a Caveco for kale. Just comes in this little plastic sleeve. <laughs> She's yawning now. Um, I got the teal color. 
I think it's a snap cap. Yeah. And I got this because you all know I'm obsessed with sports. Uh, Caveco sport that is. I know nothing about actual real life sports. Uh, um, but I got this because uh, I've heard some pretty good things about it. And I'm curious to see what the difference is between the two. Um, and then with it, even though I don't need it because I have a whole bunch of them anyways, I just obsessively stockpile them. Uh, I got a standard international converter, which fits into the Caveco Perkeo. Okay, what else did I get? I got some ink samples. I'm gonna start with two that are unrelated. Well, they're both Sailors. So I got Sailor 224 and Sailor Manyo Haha. Ha. <laughs> I've heard mixed things about this one. Um, so I really wanted to pick it up and give it a try. Um, and then the 224 just looks like a gorgeous, gorgeous color. Um, they're both, I believe, well, this one for sure, but I believe this one too is on the blue range. Um, and I'm gonna make sure I put this one in a soaker of a pen uh, because I know it's really, really pale, but it does some cool like color changing type things. Uh, and then I purchased uh, all three samples of the, oh boy, I dropped it, of the um, Reddit Diamine inks. So Diamond Earl Grey, um, I have used this before, um, but I wanted to pick it up again because I figured if I'm doing it, I might as well do it right. Uh, then the Diamine Aurora Borealis, which is on the blue-ish, green-ish uh, front, which I've never tried before. Um, so I'm pretty excited for that. And then the most recent Writer's Blood, which is a red-based ink. Yes, I understand. <laughs> I'm getting notifications that my dinner is ready. Um, so yeah, I'm pretty, pretty stoked about that. And that is literally everything that I got. <laughs> so if this one seemed a little bit rushed, uh, I apologize. I was just super excited. I wanted to get into it ASAP. And uh, yeah, that was it. <laughs> So if I flip this around, you'll see my very messy desk <laughs> and my open closet <laughs> and Parker just watching me be a weirdo. Uh, but guys, thank you so much for watching this really quick uh, impromptu video. Um, yeah, I just, I was too excited and I had to get into it. Um, so I appreciate it. Hit that like button if you liked it. Hit the subscribe if you really liked it but haven't done so already. New videos come out every Monday and Friday and the occasional Q&A on Tuesday. And as always, if you're still watching at this point, you are the reason I make these videos. I'll see you next time. Bye. All right, I'm slowly starting to test out the um, Tomoe notebook. This is not the review. I'm just using the paper. Um, so I did... Whoop swatches for Diamine Earl Grey, Aurora Borealis, Writer's Blood, Sailor Ink 224, and Manyo Haha. -ha. Now all of these are like heavy 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 swatches so not entirely accurate of in the pen but a promising start. <laughs>